Lights out, and we go racing. Good start from Brown, great start from Constantine off the front row of the grid. Keep an eye out as well in the background there for Nick Abbott from the second row. But it is Steve Brown that leads the way then from Ben Sayer, from Tom Constantine. Somebody getting caught up in some strife at the first corner as they come through into the Joker. So Ben Sayer goes Joker from second position, then leaving Brown and Constantine to duke it out at the front of the race. So nicely done there for uh, Sayer to keep himself out of trouble, keep himself out of harm's way on that opening lap but it is then Brown who leads the way from Constantine then they all Constantine are up as they come through that hairpin bend and then come down the back straight I believe the driver that was caught up in some drama at the first corner might have been Andy P cover the number 333 who's been having something of a quiet weekend so far here at Pembray and hopefully he can turn his fortunes around but actually he's on the back of uh, Ben Sayer and I can see from our commentary position there was actually a bit of contact between the two drivers coming through there so uh, maybe it was actually uh, the 68 of uh, Darren Bleasdale who was caught up in some dramas instead anyway that's all relative as we come back to the battle at the front of the race which is between Steve Brown and uh, Tom Constantine as they come through the gravel section for the second time of asking then and Brown having done an absolutely superlative job behind the wheel of the BMW Minis Tom Constantine having had some dramas so far here today performed very well in round four but actually had one of his, his bonnet come up in one of the heats earlier on here today and that put him on the back foot a little bit and you can see coming down the back straight he's just dropped a little bit of time there to Steve Brown who is sitting second in the standings coming in towards this final only five points adrift of Bradley Turner and of course uh, when we get the two semi-finals out of the way and we get the final underway for the BMW Minis that will make things very interesting indeed but you can see how hard Tom Constantine is just pushing on going a little bit deeper towards that first corner keeping an eye on things as he goes joker then does Constantine so wants to get himself out of harm's way wants to try and undercut Steve Brown to see if he's going to be able to do that where is Constantine going to emerge he's back into second place no he's not because here comes Ben Sayer who's on his outside then they're side by side and Constantine then has gone from battling for the race lead potentially to dropping down to third position up the inside he tries to go into the hairpin Ben but on the straight that's going to compromise his drive and as such Ben Sayer has the advantage and has second position quite commandingly as they come on the run down into towards the Brooklyn's airpin. So it's gone from hero to zero there for Tom Constantine. That's an, a, a disaster for the driver from Kent. Uh, sorry, apologies uh, for the uh, number seven as he comes through over the timing line once again. So Constantine now on the back foot. It's all in Ben Sayer's hands. What about Steve Brown when he takes his joker? Let's wait and see how things are going to pan out for him as he comes through on the gravel section. He's got Joker now, has Steve Brown. Where's he going to emerge in relation to the rest of the field though? It's going to be ahead of Ben Sayer. So a nicely timed Joker there. And of course Sayer would have lost time as a result of that battle that he had with Constantine on the last lap. So now the top three drivers are running head to heels with one another as they come through the left-hander and on to the straight then. So it's advantage Steve Brown as it sits on lap three out of six. Darren Bleasdale in fourth, Nick Abbott in fifth, Andy P cover down into sixth position according to the timing screens from what I can see. You can see these BMW Minis love locking their rear wheels. They've become tripods in tight corners, such is the way that they are set up. And just looking at the gap, I'd have to say it's coming down between Ben Sayer and the race leader of Steve Brown. Ben getting really close on the brakes onto the back of Steve there. Is he going to be able to find an opportunity to get past though? That's the crucial question. We've got two laps remaining here at Pembrey and Steve Brown looking like he's on the back foot a little bit and Tom Constantine, let's not forget, is not going to be far away from this either. So be interested to see how it all plays out and keep an eye out in the background for Darren Bleasdale in the number 68 because he's not too far adrift of this if these three come to blows he could be ready to try and take profit of things down the back straight the drivers come then and Brown just being able to build a little bit of a gap then to the second place man of Ben Say a bit deep into that corner there for Brown is that going to cost him a bit of time through the rest of it doesn't look like it has done so Tom Constantine will just be wondering what could have been. Great drive out of the final corner, though, for Ben Sayer. He seems to be absolutely superlative coming through that final section of the lap. That's where he's really strong, and that's where he begins to close up onto the back of Steve Brown. We're on the penultimate lap then here, but then in the first sector, you can see that Tom Constantine has the advantage. He closed right up onto the back of Ben Sayer. So there's different strengths and weaknesses for these drivers at different points in the lap, and that's what's making this battle for the top three so exciting. Through the left-hander they go. Steve Brown leads the way from Ben Sayer from Tom Constantine then. Getting it all out of shape as they go through there. Trying to get the power down off the gravel and onto the tarmac. And 
they're only going to have a lap left to try and do anything to see whether they can close up the deficit to the race leader of Steve Brown, who again takes that wider line into the Brooklyn's head. It seems to be a favoured one for him and it seems to be paying dividends. But you can see Ben Sayer there has dropped back a little bit now from Steve Brown and that's allowed Constantine to close up. And it's just given Brown in the one, two, three, a good amount of buffering, a good window of opportunity to try and hold on to that race lead then. So coming through onto the gravel section we go, the race is over and it's a win for Steve Brown as he claims the chequered flag ahead of Ben Sayer, ahead of Tom Constantine, Darren Bleasdale in fourth, Abbott in fifth and then Andy Peacover finishes P6 in semi-final two for round four of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship in the BMW Mini Class.